Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I am going to show you how you can get started with Zoho CRM, which provides a very simple, easy to use integrated CRM platform where you can manage a variety of applications at once, such as recruitment, books, mailing, and support and services operations. To get started, you can just go to zoho.com and you can click over here to their command and then just you can get started with your free trial. Now you can sign in using LinkedIn or Google and I'm just going to use my Google account. You can also sign in via your email and then you will just keep going with that email. Then update your current location, click continue. After signing up, you will be taken to the home page. Just wait for the home page to load. Here you can see that my basic trial period is over. A free trial version of premium features is also available. So I am going to continue in the free version of Zoho CRM, but there are still many different features in Zoho CRM. Now you can see that here at the top, the first one is your homepage. So on your homepage and you can have different visits and you can add or remove widgets according to your basic need. Immediately after your homepage, you will find leads, contacts, accounts, deals, activities, reports, feeds, campaigns. And if you click over here, you will be able to take a look at all of the documents present in your CRM as well as of the visits to your CRM or basic website. If you click on leads, you will be able to see the different leads that you have generated. I have added this simple little sample over here, but to add a lead, Click on the creative lead over here and then you can add the lead if they're individuals and if they're companies, you can add their address information, so on. And then you have your contacts. So contacts are people with whom you are currently doing business. So you can create an account or contact or you can import your contacts or leads. You can import contacts directly from a CSV file or Excel spreadsheet into Zoho CRM if you already have them. You also have a mass email function as well if you want to let your entire contact list know that you are gonna be closed for two days. So you click on action over here, click on the mass email and set it up so your entire contact will know that you will be closed on this date and that will allow you to avoid communication gaps which can be detrimental to your business. That's why setting up mass emails with your contacts is very important. And as a general rule, most people would want to make sure that their business is on the same page. After that, you will have your accounts. So on your accounts, you have your account name, their website and the account owner. You can create different names according to the person who is dealing with them. After you enter the industry that you are working from, you can also set your accounts owners after that, you can also view your deals. If you click on your deals over here, you can see the basic deals that you have set up. Currently, if you are in a deal, you can click create deal over here and you can name the deal, let's say cinema investment. So I'll add cinema investment. Then I can add the account name, which account is being used. I'm going to use my Chapman account. After that, I'm going to add what type of business this is, what type of deal this is, so it's an existing business because I'm working with someone who I have worked with before. And then I'm going to add the next step, which is going to the negotiations. And then you are going to add your lead source. If this was a cold call or if you just made the deal through public relations, you can add that over here as well. Then you can also add your contact name. So let's say that this was Simon and you can click on create new account or contact. Simon and save and associate like and then you can add the amount for this deal. Let's say this was 90,000. Then you can add the closing date. So when do you want this deal to close? So let's say this is going to be the 31st of March and you can see the stage of the deal. So if it's a need analysis closed one to the competition, you can see what stage this deal is in. And you can add your own custom stages. I have already added these. So these are the ones that are showing now. 
I will be in the negotiation and review stage, then you have your probability. If I have a 95% probability, then you can add your expected revenue and then you have the campaign source that you can add as well. Once you click save on this, you will have your new deal in your deal section, allowing you to monitor all of your deals. You can also mark a deal as a failed deal if it does not work. So this helps you navigate through your successful and unsuccessful deals. You can easily manage who are the people that you are mostly working with. So let's say I open up this deal and if it fails, I will delete it as well or mark it as a failed deal. So after that, you have your basic activity section where you manage everything. Within the past few days, this has been happening. In this, in your activity section, you can add different tasks, meetings and calls. Let's say I want to schedule a meeting in June. So I'll add updates on June and then I'll add the meeting location, a Zoom conference link and set the date and time. If the meeting is about finances, then the salesperson does not have to attend. So you can just add that as well and you can click on save and then your new meeting will be created. You can invite certain participants or certain members who you would like to attend the meeting and you can add all of your members and you can add the basic item that this meeting is about. Basically your entire business or management is notified that there is a meeting happening. And then you have your basic report section where you can have custom reports based on the kind of business you are running like a real estate farm or something else maybe. My reports are all like cases and campaigns since it's real estate and marketing. So these are the kinds of reports I'm getting from you according to whatever kind of business field that you are working in. Then you have your feed. So in your feeds, you have your messaging and you can add attachments or basic information you want to share with your team to your feed. Over here now, you have your visits and then you also have your campaign sections. You may create a specific campaign such as a resurrection campaign for my brand. You are able to set up an entire campaign and set up specific individuals who will be working only on that campaign to get a cost and revenue estimate. So let's say this is going to be a burger menu revival and I can add a start date tomorrow and then I can add this expected revenue of 600 and the cost is going to be around 300 and then I can add the type. So let's say this is a telemarketing campaign and let's say it's active and then I can add the end date. This is what I want it to look like next month. Let's say the budgeted cost is 400 and the expected response is a positive one. And you can add a more detailed description of your campaign as well. And then you are going to save it. Similarly, I have added this campaign. So I can add notes, I can add more campaigns, I can add campaign exclusive attachments, close activities, leads and deals that are exclusive to this campaign. And you will also have your basic documents. With your Zoho CRM, you can have all of your documents stacked up in one simple location called the documents folder. So you don't have to dig through all of your folders to find all of your documents. So that was it for today. I hope you found this video very helpful and now you are able to set up your own custom CRM. Feel free to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if you have any questions, leave it them in the comment box down below and I'll see you in the next video.